hello so this is my uh, setup for the balancing robot and um, the main component as you can see here is the MPU6050 which is a combined uh, gyro and accelerometer and uh, this is the power control board which is based on L298 and uh, the two motors here uh, both are DC geared motor so uh, the two motors I will be controlling by using this board and uh, the signal from this accelerometer gyro board it goes to um, this DSPIC uh, 33 series um, again I made it up on a prototype board uh, because it's just for my hobby purpose so this is the board and um, as you can see there is a LED blinking and it just indicates that everything is working fine on my board and um, this is a, a Bluetooth module uh, and I use it to communicate with my but computer I wanted here. to control this entire setup from my laptop and it could be either through MATLAB or through a Py Python script or through some other means but the control will be on my laptop and to achieve that I had connected the Bluetooth module which basically gives me a uh, wireless means of and communication because my laptop work. already has a Bluetooth the uh, control becomes very simple there is no hardware there is no uh, wire which is connected from a board but because my laptop, laptop doesn't have MATLAB I decided I to was use using Python. this tool the SIM plot as you can see here the SIM plot this tool is again it's an open source and it is uh, made for uh, viewing four different analog values over uh, serial port and it's a separate tool which works on uh, UART some connection and you can set different baud rate different baud rates and stuff like that and um, what I did was I installed a uh, tool uh, which is COM0COM COM and it basically it emulates a, a null modem uh, it emulates so what it does is it creates two COM port COM9 and COM10 in my case and what I can do is from my Python uh, I can read the data from my uh, from my system over here through Bluetooth and let's say it's on uh, COM20 so I read the data uh, from COM20 and then I do all my calculation in Python which is um, doing the filtering and combining the gyro and accelerometer value and then uh, I write the data to COM9 now what happens is once I write to COM9 the data automatically gets connected to COM10 because it's a null model and I use this SIM plot and I connect to COM10 and I get the data over here I get a real uh, real time plotting of the curve so uh, this is my uh, python script and uh, what it does is um, in my in my DSP in my this board the job is pretty simple it collects the data from this accelerometer which is 16 bit and for gyro. x y and z axis for accelerometer and again x y and z axis for the gyro so I get this um, this six values and because it's 16 bit so it's basically 12 values and I transfer these 12 values over Bluetooth at a pretty high speed of 115200 baud rate I can go even higher and I do it uh, for at a rate of 400 Hertz so I transmit the data to my laptop at a rate of 400 Hertz which is pretty fast for controlling a, a balancing robot I can even reduce the the rate to about 100 Hertz and the the robot will still balance and I get the data to my laptop uh, by this Python code and it does the work of you know combining the values and then doing all the calibration initial angle and then uh, it also does the work of combining the accelerometer and gyro value uh, by using a complementary on the filter sim plot later on I'll add more features which will do the tuning of PI so fundamentally I am doing my entire control on my Python uh, code from my laptop and then I'll feed back the value after my PA calculation I'll feed back the value over Bluetooth to my DSP board which will again control the motor 
So DSP board just sends the data to my laptop and again it receives the data from the laptop and the received data is a particular value of duty cycle for the left and right side motor and so the control will be very simple so this doesn't do anything major it just gets the data from here and transmits all the work is done here so it basically simplifies my tuning and calibration because it's much easier to do calibration and tuning so what I'll do now is I'll give you a demo of uh, of my uh, sensor reading on the sim plot um, just to uh, give you a heads up that I have not implemented the closed loop as of now I'm just reading the data from my sensor and displaying it on the on the PC so uh, as you can see I have switched on my Bluetooth on my laptop and you can see a bunch of um, COM ports available and the COM20 is what uh, I usually use for communicating with the with the Bluetooth so let me open my uh, sim plot and also my command window so I have already um, given the name of the file and I'll have to just press the enter and this board is already in horizontal position so it should read a pretty stable value in terms of the x and y angle it should be close to zero so let me press enter so it says COM20 and as you can see the plot has started the initial angle were uh, yeah pretty uh, close to zero and it's working fine and as you can see uh, it is in the horizontal position let me bring my laptop closer and now let's see I'll move my robot and as you can see the angle is changing so if I make it 90 it goes all the way up to 90 close to 90 so it's here and if I bring it to 0 yeah it's again comes to 0 and I move it over here it goes to uh, let's say plus 90 so let's say my robot starts falling and how fast the angle comes down so I think that should be pretty fast for my Python script to actually do a Mm, control on the it can run a PI and send the data to my uh, controller board which will again power the motor in a certain direction so again let's check it again one more time fall and as you can see the angle falls again comes back to zero and the angle again comes back to zero pretty close to zero so uh, this angle is only the the rotation along the uh, y axis and I think that you call as the the roll so yeah so it works when it, it's I'm using just the complementary filter so it comes down so I think this should be pretty fine I can do my control and then feedback the value to my uh, board over here over Bluetooth and it will do a fine job of controlling my robot